Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on November the 8th, I think it is, 2017. And I think it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday here in uh, Manchester, England. So this is the first video that I'm doing since I've been back. I uh, hope you can hear me okay. I'm in my car and driving to work. So yeah, that's the big, uh, that's the big update. Anyway, I'm uh, now working at a company in Manchester, which is going really well. Uh, great, great company to work with and uh, having a good time. Uh, it's sort of like a little bit of a pain with the commute because the traffic is terrible so I'm sort of half concentrating on the road and well, very much concentrating on the road as I'm going so this video you know might seem like uh, my attention is all over the place. The traffic is nuts at this time in the, uh, of the morning in Manchester. Um, but yeah, I just wanted uh, I just wanted to say, guys, I've not done a video this past few days about the revenue that was made in um, when would it be now uh, October and September. Those are the ones that I need to update you with. Those are coming soon. Do not worry about it. Uh, they are on my list of things to do. I've just because I've, we've only just come back to uh, England and there's a million things for us to sort out. And uh, obviously, with with me sort of doing the you know. 9 till 5, 9 till 6 and then coming home, uh, there's not a lot of hours in the day, but they will come soon for sure. Um, what do I want to talk about in this video, it's just a kind of general update I guess, um, I really don't know what to say, honestly. Uh, it's a little bit different being back in Manchester I suppose, it's very very different. Um, I think I'm a bit, I, I'm not as reverse culture shocked as I was in October last year when I came back because I hadn't uh, been back, I hadn't lived in England for a long time, but since I was back sort of late 2016 and early 2017, I was back for like five months so I kind of got used to it, uh, but now uh, obviously, uh, so being back this time wasn't, wasn't as strange for me. It's kind of strange that you do get reverse culture shock, but since I was in China for like 11 years, you know, it, literally 11 years, it, it was a long time. Um, but getting everyone over as well was, was, a, was a big process, getting my wife uh, and my dog Louie over as well. That was kind of a big process. Uh, but we're finally, you know, finally here and happy it was done. Uh, it, all in all, guys, to get Everyone over, flights, uh, solicitor costs, everything was around £8,000, so it was not cheap, it was a lot of money. That included the solicitor costs, the UK application fee, uh, which one? Uh, I didn't hear. Uh, I've just got to choose the right lane guys, sorry. Uh, solicitor fee, medical check, English, che English test. Uh, flights for us all. Uh, Louis flight was £1,700. That included the agent fee though that helped us get Louis from uh, China and then we had to fly through Hong Kong so it was a lot of a lot of running around and thank God we had an agent to do that because we would have had no clue what to do. Uh, they helped us get over from China into Hong Kong and then just arranged everything for us so even though it was a lot of money to get Louis to England it was it was only one you know it was one time thing really it's not going to happen every single day but it, it really helped a lot uh, I want, don't want to go to the city center I want to go this way so yeah that was a really really big process uh, in terms of um, uh, what's happening with uh, the games they're still on the store at the moment a bunch of them uh, still from what I can tell I, I just checked chart boost and everything a couple of days ago um, and uh, also app loving so same amount of revenue each day around $50 each day uh, which is fine I do assume around November December that things are going to improve um, which uh, which is cool and then January things will probably be okay but then obviously come February things are going to go down again uh, which is just just what I expect uh, oh my god I cannot see a thing oh wow the sun is right in my eyes <laughs> I'm actually borrowing my dad's car at the moment um, because I, I didn't have one I didn't have one arranged but I might be buying my sister's car 
us a little better because this this one's uh, <laughs> in fact the heating on the window at the front is broken so I can't even turn the heating on so I'm freezing I'm wearing this big coat and this big uh, scarf uh, cool thing I got I got a I got a chance to uh, work with the oculus touch for the first time the other day as well which was very cool uh, I'd used oculus before but only the headset not the touch and it was great to use that just like at 60 frames, well 90 frames per second as well. It felt so cool. Uh, I just did a very, very basic game, but it was excellent to, to get the uh, uh, to get the the hand movement in there. To get the like there's just some cubes following my hands and looking down at them and having my head tracked. And it was so easy because it was on a PC as well, so it had that whole direct uh, direct play or direct view, whatever it's called. It doesn't resize the resolution <coughs> it just plays directly into the oculus and then you can also see it in the game view as well you know in unity you don't have to resize unity or anything so that's what i had to do on the map um, but yeah uh, i'm trying to think of what else sort of to do so or what to say <coughs> so i'm going to be in england now for a while uh, the plan is to actually uh, buy a house here uh, you know, get the whole deposit done and then have a mortgage and so on and then uh, hopefully continue to buy more houses because we already did it once with um, with a house in a town close to where I live now uh, and we bought that with my uh, with my mum and dad and my sister and my brother-in-law uh, and that went really well and it's still going well, they still, you know, we've got tenants in there and, and they're paying the monthly rent and so on and it's covering the mortgage and that so that's what I really want to do because there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, friends in China who are also interested in buying some property in England. So we might do it with them together. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, obviously, I can't do anything uh, which requires a lot of my time because working full time and coding all day in Unity uh, is is uh, obviously that takes up a lot of time. And then when you you finish, you're pretty tired. So it's gonna be it's gonna have to be something which doesn't require a lot of my time. So having like a managed property or something is, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to do that, but it is interesting to be a very a full 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 time Unity developer again, uh, since I've not done that in quite a while. I mean, I was doing it a few months ago, but uh, it was only been since uh, I think the beginning of, of when I was started being a developer, like 2011 and 12 and 13 when I was really coding full time, you know, um, but that, that was that was overload. I remember the first time when I was coding in Unity, that was just insane, that was just ridiculous, like, you know, 18 hours a day and not sleeping, and that was really unhealthy. I'll never do that again, it's just, you've gotta get your rest, you gotta be able to close your mind down. Um, I went home last night and I was thinking a lot about code and how to do certain things and how to fix certain problems. I've, I've got to learn how to, switch my brain off um, when I go home at night that, that's really important or you do just you do just burn yourself out even if you're not working you kind of mentally I don't know it feels like you're just mentally straining your you know your mental muscle so I've got to learn to, to, to just switch off switch off when I go home um, but yeah guys I just wanted to do this quick video I'm sorry this this was a bit of a messy video it's because I'm kind of driving and uh, I did make a note of wanting to get a video done pretty soon for you guys and just give you a general update uh, before I do the revenue videos but those will come ASAP guys like this week I promise uh, and uh, you can see how much money we made in October and what else was it September yeah I believe those are the two months if not it'll be August as well uh, but I've got to try and navigate through all this crazy traffic and I'm already late now because there's just so much traffic it's insane uh, but guys yeah thanks for all the support really um, you're really awesome, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I mentioned it before, the Pro channel on YouTube, if you've seen this video on YouTube from the Pro channel, that I believe will be closing down soon because YouTube no longer accepts, uh, will no longer be doing paid channels. So the videos will not be available. However, they are available on howtomakemobilegames.com. The top section, the Pro video section, they're all in there, and it is $3 a month. Uh, so you can unsubscribe from YouTube and then resubscribe to the howtomakemobilegames.com uh, PayPal uh, subscription. Obviously, you do need PayPal. If it doesn't work, though, guys, if you try to try to subscribe and it won't let you, 
just drop me an email, uh, martin at cobaltplay.com and I can manually add you. You just have to send directly to my PayPal, like, so, you know, one month or two months payment, whatever you want. And then I can directly, manually add you as a member in the pro section. So I've done that a few times now for the guys, um, and that seems to have fixed the problem. I've got to turn right in a minute while I'm figuring out. I've got so much, I've got traffic, I've got the video, I've got the iPhone down there giving me directions. Oh, and it nearly powered off before, so things are a bit crazy at the moment. But guys, thanks so much. Uh, I will speak to you really soon, hopefully give you some more interesting information. And yeah, have a great week developing, guys. Happy developing. Bye-bye.